Yo, what's going on everyone? American Bacon here. Today I'm going to be showing off two deck profiles. These two decks are what I was able to build out of my booster box for my uh, wife and I to play against each other. Um, there are a couple cards in here that are from the, uh, whatchamacallit, the prototype set, but uh, like I said, they, they do the same things and also it's just for her and I to play. I'm not really that concerned about it. It'll be fine, right? Uh, but anyway, let's get started here. We have two magic ursus right um why are these backwards in here i guess we're doing this now we got an ambrosia two nectar of the gods a circle of the sky another ambrosia because i thought i organized this but apparently i didn't two eruptions two hammers three volcanic forges so we can get nice and lava -y up in here we got the uh Kratuga. what was that we got his little buddy here just to search out for fires in the deck I can search out any single fire, or obviously I can search out him. Uh, just whatever is better for the situation, of course. And then we got two Ursa Seers. One of them's a little stellar. That's pretty nice. Two Ursa Scouts. Or the three Ursa Scouts, my bad. Uh, a Ursa Mung. Uh, a Nectar. Three Ignectars. All right, check it. We got two Necros. Two Kind Leos, which remind me a lot of Impa from Twilight uh, Princess, and I really enjoy that. One Volcanries. Uh, one of these guys. I don't know how to say his name. We got two Blazerises. A Leonite, because basically we just pulled them in a hollow, and so I wanted to use them. Uh, two Waspries. A Trifinal. And then a Field, a Drop, and a Helios. And this deck, basically, like I said, I was building it with what I had, right? And my whole idea was just to kind of try to burn people. Uh, it's the bug fire elestrals i could tell they're really about burning people and so i kind of wanted to do that as best as possible and then the bears are in there to help search and to have a really heavy hitter on the field when we can of course um but yeah that was that was my fire deck basically with a hint of water you know like we're keeping one water guy around uh on my wife's deck i haven't sleeved it up yet so i apologize but check out this cool card that she pulled you'll, you'll be able to see that in the shorts that I've been making. Uh, I got a nice, nice and shiny water spirit here, Leviathan. That's, all. That's pretty cool looking. Anyway, our deck profile. We got three Veritaquas. We got a crack kid as just like a one off tech. Three foamies because you need three foamies. Three tad puffs because you need three tad puffs. Two Galaxias uh, to really kind of hammer in that, that offense defense switch, right? Two Telephones. A uh, Javelintus, a Golby, two Zephyr Frogs because Zephyr Frog's sick and can attack directly. A full out, full art Crack King, um, of course our little elephant's big buddy, and then our our big hitter. We only pulled one, but we got the Majesty right. We got a Tsunami because that's all we pulled. Uh, two Atlantises, two Tridents, and then we have a small Electric Engine just for things on the field and for tech and search and whatnot right so we got three boom bats for popping we got um sorry we got two joltons and then we got two astro rabbits just like i said just for searching getting things to hand really more than anything that's more tech cards then we got a nectar of the gods a helios a pandora's box a oval an ambrosia and a golden apple that'll be her deck her deck is just your basic water deck um for the most part i when we played the prototype starter decks i uh we both took note that the water deck on its own we didn't think it was really that great like it got i i got the earth deck right and it got added by the earth deck a lot you could win with the water deck for sure if you knew which if you know what you're doing and like you know your goal really so you kind of save your cards but that's why i put in the electric engine with the boom bats in, in particular and i kind of uh wanted to have some better tech cards like Crack King and whatnot and Zeph Frog to put on the, the pressure. And uh, so real, I really hope this is a bit stronger than that starter deck was, but we'll see what it is. I do have more cards, of course. Um, when I got the, the booster box, when I opened it up, I opened them all up and then once I was done, I separated everything out into, you know, their elements and the spirit cards. You gotta see what I pulled. And interestingly enough, I pulled mostly uh, lightning and water. And then almost no wins 
and uh, a decent amount of fire, obviously, and then um, just an okay amount of amount of earth, right? That was kind of what I pulled, and I noticed what I liked about the packs. I noticed is that when you would open the packs, it kind of felt like they were designed to help you build a deck because you would run into, like, let's say you got a water card. Well, the next two cards are, are water cards a lot of the time, and then like now you got three lightning cards after that or something like that, you know? So they're really like. It seems either they were just poorly put together and it, it worked out in a way where I liked it or they were put together intentionally like that to help you be able to get decks together so you didn't just have just this random mashup. That way each pack was a little bit more cohesive. And I really enjoyed that about that. If that's purposeful, we'll see when we open up more packs, maybe we can order more, I'm not sure. But if you guys like this video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe. We'll have more of us con Lestros content coming um, as much as I possibly can. I do have the alpha app on my phone, and so I do need to get on some games on there, record those for you guys, um, and have a good time with uh, good time with that. I know it's coming to all the backers here real soon, so uh, so everyone will have everyone will be able to hop on and have a good time. That'd be great. Uh, my wife and I will be playing some games. I can try to record those for you. Uh, I don't have the best setup for that, but we can try to figure something out. Um, so you guys can see. But yeah, just stay tuned for more Last Rolls, more TCG stuff in general. I make a lot of content on Master Duel and Yu-Gi-Oh! because I like Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. Um, if there's any other TCGs you want to see me take a spin at, I will gladly fail uh, wonderfully for you guys. So leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.